Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Necrosmith. Last time I played the game was an alpha demo. Now it's early access, I think. Let's see what's changed. Hopefully a lot. Or oh, this is going to be boring. The whole point of the game is, you are a guy who's doing necrosmithy things. You build your character by going head, body, some form of arms, and some form of legs. Now the arms and legs you put down decide what your character does, like shield can be shield against things. Sword can stab things, it shows you how much resource it costs. I have 14 and 57 mana extracted to deploy it. Now you can choose to deploy it from any of these targets, with which I have access from a previous run. I'm going to straight to just deploy it from my main thing, and now we'll wander around and attack and move. Now the AI is still not the best. Okay, you are skeleton secret cultist, yep. Is that it? Let's create another one? Yeah, why not? Deploy. Skeleton mage bodyguard, secret recipe, yes! Perfect! Now let's move around and go do things. Now you can at any point control the critter by sort of clicking on it and just wazz, but they will auto fire at things. Money is used for upgrades in between areas, so it's a roguelite. And mana is of course used for your troops on the field of battle. Now there's different targets on the field, obviously once your character dies, you die. God damn it. Now there's different things on the field. There are mines that give you resources, there are corpses and stuff you can find. There's also buildings. Buildings give you upgrades like extra health for your troops, extra armor for your troops, so on and so forth. But obviously you've got to try and find them. And there are also lairs. Like this is an enemy lair, which is releasing slimes. This is a building, which gives me body parts. This will give me more mana every morning. So they are important buildings to get if of course we actually had my troops on the field to do it. I don't. So I can't. Deploy another one. There we go. Yeah, I'm losing troops. In fact, I'm going to take complete control of you and go grab some buildings. While well, obviously using these, obviously I'm trying to get uh, troops on the field, but I don't really have the resources to do so. I kind of need the resources to do so. And obviously there's a lot, an awful lot of resources you can grab in this game. Grab that, grab this, there we go. Go to attack, nope. What else can we grab? Let's grab that building, it's already been grabbed, good. Let's give you, let's give you the Book of Death and that leg, there we go. Go. Now I don't really have access to any good spells or abilities as you can see. I'm just basically making troops and hoping for the best. Is it going well? Not particularly. Now there are many different types of things in there. There's vampires, there's... Oh, skeleton battle monk. Intriguing. There are vampires, there are harpies, there are undead orcs. Basically, you can make more and more powerful creatures as time goes by, but obviously, you have to slowly unlock them and get more things. You lose when the base in the center loot dies. Now, right now, there's a big issue, well, a few issues. The AI has been more improved, but still not the best. And the AI attacks are pretty damn tough. In fact, they're majorly damn tough if you've got some stuff. Bronze Age Army, extra damage per level. Let's bring in you and give you this body. Oh, we can also sacrifice body parts, so obviously you have access to more troops. There we go, kill them all. Let's deploy you anyway. Grab more resources. Deploy the cat! The cat will grab the resources for me. And that'll, of course, kill this very, very, oh, very, oh, uh oh, basic spawner. Don't die! Yeah, that was a pain. Let's try and make myself a thing. Have a go a body part. You'll be a weird looking thing, but a thing nonetheless. Congratulations, go live. Go deploy. Now you can at any point take control of your troops, you can tell them to stand still. There is spells to immediately deploy them back to base. But obviously that's uh, not really possible right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Deploy, deploy, deploy. There we are. And yeah, as you can see, your troops aren't the best. You are under attack. A few of them kind of wander around near the base. A few of them explore and expand. But the AI is still not there. They don't really capture things very well. They don't really do anything really well, if I'm honest. But they're getting there. It's... What's the phrase? It's okay-ish for now, I guess. There you go. Let's deploy that armoured soldier. 
So let's actually start upgrading. What have we got? Extra to damage, extra to zombie growth. Okay, let's get more zombie body parts. Let's also increase the amount of damage my troops do. More damage, the better. This one, of course, he's been using some kind of magic shield. Oh, that would be the actual shield. Extra two to vision, that'd be good. Dual crossbow him. Uh, sacrifice one of them, deploy that. Let's give you that, that. I just, I just don't have the body parts. That's a uh, poison. Deploy the cat. I can deploy the, po the poison every now and then. I'm ready to upgrade it where the money comes in. The money is the most important part of obviously trying to upgrade everything. But the more things you kill, the better life is. Again, though, it's yeah, it's not a very well balanced. You'll see I'm already losing pretty quickly, and there isn't really much I can do apart from just send out more and more and more troops. As it boils down to more and more troops. I'm having to deploy troops back at the central base rather than any of the portals, because, again, I'm being attacked a lot. So I can't really do much about any other place. Maybe I can now. Let's find out by deploying you to that portal there. Go and explore. There we go. Good. Go and explore, go grab resources for me. But again, now he's not back at base, I might be in trouble. Let's try and build a giant. Do I have the resources for a giant? No. Of course I don't. I uh, got more body parts, gonna do that. Let's also deploy you here. Oh, he's throwing axes. I like the axe thing. Oh, there's got really tiny legs. Okay, grab this. Give you that. Uh, body pot, body pot, body pot. Okay, sacrifice, 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 sacrifice. Deploy back at base. There we are. Extra, extra zombie growth, extra vision. There we go. Vision's now high up. Need more things to grab. Under constant attack. Did you see the issue? Because I'm under constant attack here, I can't really send out my troops. I can't send out my troops at all. I have no real control of what my troops do. I can tell some to just stand still, which obviously for ranged units and certain ones would be really good, but then you have the issue of just going to get overwhelmed anyway, like full on overwhelmed. I can body down 2,000 health and that guy's just insta died. Mm. That really expensive guy just insta died. Uh. And there's no real good way of deploying your troops. You see how quickly it takes. You don't have the body parts. You can't just, you know, just straight up do stuff. You have to still drop them in. So yeah, there needs to be more of an automated system going on for your own saves. There was originally a system for your own saves. I don't know where that's gone. Yeah, like it's nice to gain these recipes, but I'd like to have them be as a harpy head. Actually, have them be useful. And that's not really how it's going, is it? I'm having serious trouble. I'm losing troops. What is that head? Harpy head with a helmet? Yes. Give me a crossbow. You can't have more than 15 dead. Oh, I've actually got an entire army going. And hopefully, we're actually destroying some things. Because, we, of course, we need to destroy the spawners. That's what we're doing. We're capturing everything. Usually, I've been killed by now. Deploy the cat. Deploy the poison. Deploy that guy at the base. Oh my god, my base is at half health. And there you go. Even though we are winning, maybe, I'm still losing. Even though I'm winning, we're still losing. Armoured. Uh, give you that one. There we go. Enjoy the cat. That's more troops still arriving. So yeah, there's no real way of getting your troops in fast. See this attack? What am I meant to know about it? All I can do is control my troops make go over here. But I'm still losing. So there's no real way to be useful. They've made it so that the AI actually responds to attacks at your castle more often. You see this? Constant attacks. There's no real way I can stop them. So the current issue the game is, there isn't really much in the way of control. At all. You can't really build troops quickly. And even if you do, the elite ones just sometimes die immediately. 
because enemy attacks can do significant damage really fast. Like cultists, mage bodyguard, battle monk. That's cool. It's great. It's glorious. Who cares? I just want a quick way of making my men to go into battle. Like, can I just make a junk unit? Mm -hmm. Actually, got vampire parts. That'd be great if I could actually build a vampire quickly, but I can't. Because I've got to click, 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 click. And the only time you get a vampire build is if you get a vampire fully made. I, like this. This gives me better acid fog. This gives me lightning smite. This produces more body parts. Which is nice, I guess. That's it. That gives me the zombies. This gives me teleport my dead to town. This gives me to teleport troops back to the main building, which is good. But it doesn't defeat the whole point of it's still an issue. It's still a big issue. Because, of course, getting the troops back is a big one. Amazing big one. The time it takes for you to spawn these guys in huge. Absolutely huge. There we are. It starts off so simple. You know, you got your men moving around. I say men, you got your whatever they are moving around. you be able to build things because you have time to build things. Obviously, even here, I'm having to wait. Because I don't have a weapon. Like, I could build something with two shields. That'd be useless. Building guys with two weapons means a lot more attacks on the field, which is really quite good. Hall of Bones, extra four skeleton growth per level. Yeah, that'd be great. There are two more out. Yeah, maybe we can get some more skeletal growth, get more things going on. But yeah, yeah, I see. It's weird how it prioritizes certain things. I'm not quite sure how it prioritizes. You see, it's just usually wandering aimlessly. And that's going to be the make or break for this game, I think. How the AI prioritizes. And right now, it's getting better. Still not there, though. Still very much not there. No way in heck is this ready for usage. It's good. It's got the bones. Like, combat... I can play it a few times. Combat is difficult to talk about because, you, like I say, you're not really doing combat. You're sort of watching combat. Occasionally you get involved, but then it just becomes a auto battle, as it were. Because your troops will fight and shoot without you. Even when you... Why is it always... They sort of... You get attack stuff. There we go. Okay, 10 HP more per level be useful, yes. So you should have even more hit points. There we go. Deploy the cat. I really need more attack actually now I'm looking at this. Hmm. Yeah, probably need a lot more attack. How are we doing? I need one more zombie leg. Okay. Let's make a zombie. Zombie mute. Oh my god, that's not right. That's not a secret recipe. That's completely random. Completely and totally random. I don't get the actual production of these things either, I'm honest. Wait, what? Was that just a soldier? What was that? That was Bone Warrior, the most basic of basic. Cool. That means I can make a Bone Elite with actual next level gear. Probably make a skeleton, an orc, and things like that. 
But yeah, as you can see, the attacks are still coming through. Still hurting us. At least I can now heal us 100. We have slightly longer left. But yeah, the actual building thing needs to work better and faster. It needs to work a lot better and an awful lot faster. Seems to be winning, though. For now, anyway. Definitely more upgraded levels of spells. Uh, let's go for regular zombies, see how that goes. Orc leg, ah, that's explained a few things, yeah. Let's make a zombie. Dead warrior, there we are. Basic stuff. I mean, obviously some of this stuff is very obvious, but it's still just getting them made. It's still literally just getting them made. Did I just make two guys here? Where are they? Are they both dead immediately? Cool. There's nothing I can do. Well, we've got our health go. Mm. And there you go. That's the problem with the game. Currently, once the AI attacks you, even if you use the whole summon your troops back to base spell, it all it means is your troops are being killed and you're not attacking their spawners. There's no real defensive buildings. There's no real point. Because the AI... politely feels like cheating or overpowered. So there's a few issues. Obviously they're working on it. I hope. Let's see next level more. But yeah, this has been a quick look at Necrosmith. It's promising. It's bare bones. The AI is stupidly overpowered. Uh, your AI is dumb as bricks, and building units take so long, you sometimes are literally struggling to make troops as the enemy is wiping out your building. So if you ignore the problems of the game not really working currently, it's a good game. If you do notice all the problems, it needs a lot more time in early access. But anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun, this has been Necrosmith, take care, be awesome, be epic, be amazing, and I'll be seeing you sometime soon. Goodbye.